G'day Laurie, this is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Hey mate, thank you so much again for your inquiry on our 2023 Mitsubishi Outlander, the XC Tourer, sitting here in front of me. This thing is an absolute glamour. I uh, cannot wait to take you through it. Uh, obviously on sale at the moment from 57,990 drop away, now down to only 55,990, making it literally one of the cheapest in Australia currently for sale, um, especially with those only 8,000 kilometres on there. Uh, this thing is not to be missed. Uh, whole idea of this video, mate, obviously just want to take you through the car in a bit more detail than obviously what the uh, photos can take you through. I um, obviously understand you guys are flying out, so this might make life a little bit easier for you. Uh, obviously, mate, you've, you've been to Cairns before, but we're Pacific Toyota, so we're here at 235 Mulgrave Road. Uh, you can see our service uh, departments over the road, Toyota Lexus showrooms up the hill there, and we are absolutely jam-packed here at the moment. So we're the second largest pre-owned yard for Toyota in all of Australia. Uh, I'm currently at 235 Mulgrave Road, and we've got another location up at 77 Mulgrave as well. So we get some absolutely awesome cars just like this Outlander. Um, so obviously no chips or cracks or anything through the windscreen. Mate. All, obviously all our cars, uh, we guarantee no write-offs or flood damage or hail damage or anything like that. We simply don't touch them. Very tidy across the bonnet. That's just a little bit of dust that we get from obviously the shade sails up there. So but very, very tidy across the bonnet. So we get these obviously re-detailed the day you pick it up as well. And so like I said, obviously if we can get, if we're happy with this side of things, we'll get some uh, trade photos from your, your car uh, as soon as you can. And then um, hopefully mate, we can do everything over the phone so that uh, your car can potentially be waiting for you in Port Douglas by the time you get back. Incredibly nice and easy for you. Uh, obviously pretty much brand new tyres on there as well. So you can see the treads, uh, little indicators just on the inside there too. So absolutely stacks left on there. Very tidy to the inside of those wheels. We've got these awesome Tourer wheels on those with the black and silver on the alloys. Uh, all your front parking sensors across here too. Little tiny, no, let's just come off my hand. Very tidy through the inside of that one as well. And same thing, absolutely stacks the tray through the inside there too. And these mirrors. Obviously down the passenger side here, got the keyless entry, so we can obviously lock that one, they'll tuck in, car's now locked, as soon as we step away and come back, simply push that button again, it's going to tuck that open for us. Uh, you can see a little reverse, the camera is on the outside there, so we've got four cameras around, one on the front, two on the sides and one at the back. Uh, a little blind spot monitor as well, so anybody in your blind spots, so perfect for motorbikes and stuff like that. It's going to, that little triangle is going to illuminate for you. Very tidy to the inside. We've got this awesome orange stitching across the black. A little bit of carbon fiber and everything, which just make these things uh, absolutely stunning. They also got the uh, Range Rover kind of vibe about them. So electric seats on both the uh, front ones here. We've even got massaging seats for the two front ones as well. And of course the adjustments for the uh, backrest there. Uh, genuine Outlander floor mats the whole way through. It's very tidy across the dash there as well. Uh, all your service history is all on the inside here. So this was, I don't even know if it's done a service yet. Perfect, it's done one already. So from down in Gympie, so 2023 in July at 3,000 kilometers. So not due again until 15,000 or uh, July next year. So I'll pop that back in there. You got all the rest of your books and everything all in there too. So now you've got that darker interior, uh, the darker roof lining, obviously the sunroof and everything up there too. Stunning seats all through the back there. What's that roof on the top as well. Hold down the sides onto this back. Again, sort of very much struggling to actually find anything to point out. We've got child locks on the back here. Again, the same stitching all the way through. Electric windows all the way around. Obviously, our brochure just there too. Uh, we've got heated seats in the back row as well. Obviously the uh, oh, argument separate in the middle there. Oh, Trying to pull it from this side, can't do it with one hand. But you simply pull that lever and pull this one down and it'll come down for you too. Uh, we do have the backrest there as well, so that pops down. Giving you access into the back rows there too, so that rolls forward. And into those back seats there as well, so you simply pull that strap from the back, which I'll show you in a second. That lifts up. And we've got one, two, three tight angle points across the back here too. The third one's just in the middle there, at the top of the roof. So very tidy through the inside there. Down to those back wheels again, incredibly tidy. Now there's a tread left on there. 
Uh, we obviously got two keys for this one too, so we've got genuine Mitsubishi keys with these guys, so central locking. That one works perfectly. And so does that one. Uh, you do have a release for the boot here too. So you simply hold that one down, the boot's gonna open up for us, so all electronically. You got a button there to do it as well, so you press that lock button and the car will uh, close the boot and then lock itself. We've got the option here to fold these seats down, so you can simply drop that from here. Gonna drop that down to its uh, flat position from the back. So we've got the option to do that over here too. And like I said, all the uh, straps come up with there. Through that one. Got little tie down points all through the back here too, so once you actually drop these back down, into place, you got the four tie down points all through the back. Accessory plugs in the corner here too. And um, underneath this one, so we've got a little first aid kit. We've got the little uh, shades, the, the shade sail kit, the um, sunlight and everything off, and the headrest for these back seats as well. All tucked away just in there for you. And what looks like the jacket tools uh, below that as well. All nicely tucked away for you. Huge amount of space through the inside there. So you can obviously, there's also a button on the inside that'll close that for us too. Perfect. Uh, rear parking sensors all across the back. Tiniest of little marks just there. Very faint though. And same thing just next to that one. It's nearly coming off my finger now. Uh, fuel's obviously this side here too, so on the driver's side there. And again, incredibly tidy across this corner. It's a little bit tight for room, that's alright. Uh, both sides have got these little shade sails as well, so they just simply click out of place. So if you've got kids in the back and stuff like that, or you just want to keep peering eyes out of there as well, they just click back into place. Same thing if you want the window down, just keeps a bit of shade while you're, uh, while you're driving. And then finally just down the driver's side here. Okay, super tidy. All through this side too. I'm dead set struggling to find any marks, I tell you. So through the inside here. So master controls all over here. Uh, so we've got two memory positions, so for his and hers basically, for the uh, driver's seat. So when you're alternating around past, uh, who's, who's in here, you can save your settings, so you're not trying to sit there fiddle around every single time. Uh, central locking, all your mirror controls through the inside here. All your window controls and window locks just there for you as well. Again, got the uh, electric adjustments and the um, massage seats for the, for the front pair. So we jump in, foot on the brake. It's going to come on that little screen telling us we can push the button. It's going to automatically move my seat into my position. It's going to give me this awesome setup on the inside here. So it tells us a whole heap of stories. So at the moment, obviously, I'm not wearing a seatbelt and that door isn't closed properly. Now it is. I love these things. <laughs> um, so we've got heaps of stuff, heaps of infotainment across the uh, the inside there. I mean, obviously, 8,859 kilometers as it sits right now. No engine lights or dash lights or anything like that. I've um, got a whole heap of different menus that we can go through, personalization settings, all your little home stuff, your average fuels, uh, the cameras, the um, direction you're traveling, what music sources we're listening to, AM, FM, all that kind of stuff. Uh, sort of controlled from the actual steering wheel itself. Uh, we do have the options for changing gears, so you've got the down shift there, up shift on the right, um, for, for you know, if you want a bit more control of the actual gears themselves. Uh, cruise controls all through here, you can still answer and hang up your phone calls through that one as well. Headlights all on the right hand side, same with your blinkers and everything like that. Both your headlights and your um, high beam have got automatic settings on those too. And your wipers all on the left have got automatic settings there too, otherwise everything just works like normal. Uh, on the right hand side down the back here, so we've got the release for the boot, plenty of blank switches, so if you want to go and put anything um, like light bars or anything like that on the car, you can do as well. Uh, bonnet releases just down the bottom there. As we come across, obviously being the Tourer, we've got these massive, uh, this Boss uh, speaker set going through the whole car as well. Um, massive, huge display up the top here. So again, it's all touch screens. So you simply can jump into anything you want. Uh, you can press go home. This is obviously all the settings for, for the sat-nav side of things. Uh, we have the main menu, so we can jump to this one here. Uh, so we can go across to the menus, the audio, so it's straight into the maps that I was just looking at. Uh, you can sign your phone up and do Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, pretty sure that's actually wireless in this one as well. You don't even have to plug your phone in to, to connect to it. And um, we get all the audio, so AM, FM, Bluetooth, your calls, the whole works, all controlled through there. And you got a couple little sub buttons down the bottom too. Obviously, cold air conditioning, hazard lights in the middle there. Uh, all the fan speed and temperatures and everything down the bottom here. So fan speed for the uh, aircon, temperatures where you want them coming out of. The rear controls up here as well. And of course, your heated seats uh, on both sides there for the front too. And then of course, heated uh, driver's steering wheel. Love that. So always good in the winter time. 
especially when you jump in the car it's a little bit cold um, otherwise we've got two USB ports uh, HDMI port oh, sorry the USB port and a uh, USB type C as well for charging phones this is actually a wireless touchpad so you put your phone on there it'll actually charge it accessory plug on the inside um, electric handbrakes down the bottom, a whole stack of different modes of mud, sand, eco, everything like that for depending on what kind of driving you're doing because this is the all-wheel drive. Uh, this is your shifter, so again, they sort of got this idea from uh, land, uh, Range Rovers and stuff like that. Simply push it up, engages into that. It's a toggle, so it does come back to its normal position. So all the little sensors and everything comes up. We've got that 360 camera, so all those cameras around the outside stitched together. And obviously straight down to the drive side of things, puts us back to that main menu. And uh, obviously push the button to go back to park. Uh, pull that one up to engage. Cup holders on the inside there. Stacks of storage through that one. Like I said, we've got the sunroof and everything up the top there. So it opens up with one button, just here. And then opens up with the second button. Massive visor on the inside, obviously with the lights there too. Sunny holders up there. Same thing on the driver's side. Like I said, not you for another service until that one there. So we'll close that up for you too. Make sure that's all sweet. Same thing for here. So most sunroofs are actually, you got to hold the button, it's pretty annoying. This one's actually automatic. So it's got two stages, it'll do that one, and then this one, so the front and the back. Perfect. All right, so I will leave this running for just two seconds, because I do want to show you under the bonnet real quick before we finish up, so just pull that release. So it's gonna beep at me, because the um, keys are in my pocket and the car is still running, obviously. Thanking you. So, mate, thank you so much for your inquiry again, and um, yeah, can't wait to hear your feedback soon before this thing sells.